Arachne Press, A Pedwasaith Dim, A470, Poems for the Road, Kerdir Forth. Mae gen ti un yn gwneud bydd fynwent Llanros. Mae eis parcio blaen o ffestiniog a mae eis parcio Llanrost. Llech o'ch cerig sydd ger yr afon llygwy. Ar ôl hynny, os i jyst am marw i siom mynd, rhaid i si fynd sy ol i wal neu goeden, mynd ar dy gwrcod ger llyn neu ar ochr mynydd mewn eira rhwng drain, lle dawai stain melyn yn toddi toll mewn blanced o wyn. Mae na le chwech ar y chwyth fel ti'n cyrraedd ganllwyd, ond oes na mynd wedyn tan mawdd y, a mae honno ddigon o eraith. Set pren han ar cilch han ar sgward i rai, sy'n na bach ni'n cael set ddi ac adwyn. Dwi'n cofio un set toilet a godd o fathau bach ni'n eistedd ar plât, tales posh, victoriaidd, oedd yn ffantastig. Dwi wedi bod ynddyn nhw i gyd, methu cael y papur toilet allan a hofran a mynd pe munud hefo dy goesan brifo, tyd i ti cael gafal mewn sgward tynau. Cofio llawes llawn papur a ffocedd llawn newydd man. There's one face in Llandros Cemetery, blaen a ffestiniog yn Llandrost Carpac. You have a stone bathroom by the river Llygwy. After that, if you're dying for a wee, you'll have to go behind a wall or tree, crouched by a lake or on the side of a mountain, between brambles, a yellow stain will melt a hole in the blanket of snow. There's a loo on the left as you come into Ganllwyd, but there's nowhere until Mawdy then, and that one's rather chilly. Some have wooden seats, a half circle, half square, unless you get the black seat and chain. I remember one toilet seat and it was like sitting on a plate. Posh tiles, Victorian. It was fantastic. I've been in the mall, unable to grab the loo roll, and hovering for one five minutes with aching legs until you break off a single paper square. Don't forget a sleeve full of tissue and the pockets of spare change. I neidr sydd ar awch i'r o'i naid, o fôr i fôr mewn hwrdd di baid, o raw mewn llaw yn y llaid, i lein cwt lôn y ciltiaid. Y sneic, poised to leap from sea to sea in one incessant lunge, from a single spade thrust in the mud to a cult-like line, the Celtic lane. Vesli dwi'n rhedeg am y car, gan alw a galw am idris, si wrth fymol yn chwarchad, wrth yn ni rhythrau i lawr yr A470, gan droi'n gyflym ger y cross foxes am lain ti y maes parchio munydd. Gan adael popedd i ffwrdd ac idrys y mina i mewn i'r storm, an hwynebau ti ar gwynt a bwledu'r cenllus yn pigo briwiau bach ar fy wyneb a nwylo, ar gwynt yn cipio cyfarth idrys i'w golli yn y cymla tywyll yn hol. Pan gyrhaedaf y garnedd dwi'n dim ar ôl, dim galar, rin lwys, dim ond ogl y glân glyb, ci glyb, a chyriad fy ngalon, yno ar fy ardd ŵrn dead rach efyn. I want to lose my grief, to leave it behind lying on the sofa like some discarded red jumper. So I run to the car, calling and calling for Idris, who rides shotgun, while we race down the A470, swerving off by the cross foxes and on to the mountain car park. Abandoning everything, Idris and I set off into the storm, facing into the wind, the hail hammering its small hurts into my face, my hands, 
Idris's bark fleeing behind us, getting lost in the dark clouds. When I reach the cairn, there is nothing left. No grief, no pain, just the scent of wet wool, wet dog, and my pulse there on my right wrist again. And as a note in acupuncture, it's believed that the pulse in the right wrist can be affected by grief. The harder it is to read, the more grief is blocking it. Ar gopar hylllid cadar idris, gwylion fachlid o'r en dwrn, yr oer ni'n sydyn cae ei ddwrn. Dim lletu gwag yn hywyn a dol gella, a rhybyd coch yn flacio ar ddashbord y metro bychan. Pob garej wedi cae ar nesaf yn mae'n twrog dros ugen filltir o fynyddoedd. Dim dewis amdani ond aros y noson, mewn lebau goedwigol ger ganllwyd. Y metro'r hyd fach i orwedd yn gyffyrddus a mi'n ein chwe troedfedd anffodus. Rhaid gwneud ein gwely mewn dau fag cysgu dan flanced o flaen Cymreig. Plethwyd ein cyrth a'n gyffyrddus yn gwlwm a gariad cynnes. Nos hir dan y lloer, y ser yn ei miloedd, a swyn tylliannod am bellsgrech a nifael. Rhwng tician dŵr yr afon fechan, daeth cwys heb sylwi o'r diwedd. Wrth ddeffro drannoeth yn dal i gyfleidio, a gorwyd ein llygaid i ddyd pyr wahanol, y car yn ogof risial o farig a'r hewd isglair, y ddau ohonom yn blinedig orffwys dan ein mantell ei afol hudolus. At the icy summit of Cadaridris, we watch a deep orange sunset as coal suddenly closes its fist. No vacancies in Tywyn or Dolgitha and red warning flashes on the dashboard of the small metro. Every garage closed, the next mine to rock over 20 miles of mountains. No choice but to stay the night in a wooded lay-by near Ganthwyd. The metro is too small to lie down comfortably, with me an unfortunate six foot. Our bed made of two sleeping bags under a blanket of Welsh wool. Our uncomfortable bodies woven in a knot of warm love. A long moonlit night, the stars in their thousands, the magic of owl calls, random screams of animals. Between the trickle of a small river, sleep finally came unnoticed. The next day, we wake still embracing, open our eyes to an entirely new world, the car a crystal cave of frost and glittering ice, the two of us cosy under our magical winter cloak. <laughs> 